My name is Andrew Cash. I'm the Chief Executive of Sheffield Teaching Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust and I'm also the co-chair of the MOD Department of Health Partnership Board which brings together the NHS with the three military services of the Army, Navy and Air Force. We have about 30 staff in my organisation that are involved with the reserve forces. For our own staff, we encourage it, as all NHS employers should encourage uh, people joining, their staff joining reserve TA forces. It gives them a great sense of responsibility, of commitment, they learn new things, very organised, new techniques and ways of doing things. So the first thing we do to encourage staff is invite them to open days. And these open days are run by local Territorial Army units uh, and their staff come in and talk to our staff about what it's like to be a TA or a reservist. The second thing we do and is, is to allocate one of our directors to be the lead responsible person for, for both liaising with those local TA units but most importantly liaising with our own staff who are interested. And then thirdly we encourage staff to be reservists. It is their right if they want to do it to do it and we encourage it because what we get back after somebody has been away on deployment is a completely different individual, somebody who is organised, they know what they're doing and they've actually seen experiences they can, and they can bring those experiences back to the workplace. We have quite a challenge coming up ahead of us. By 2020 we have to double the number of reservists. But this is a really great opportunity for NHS employers and not all employers are tuned in to the benefits you can get by having members of your staff that are reservists. When people go away and train, it's not a fantastically long commitment, quite honestly, but they do come back with the leadership skills and teamwork skills, more importantly, from working closely with other people in the reserve forces. I really would encourage employers, trusts, right the way across the land, to participate in this scheme. It's, it can only bring benefits to you and of course to the individual. And besides that, of course, it helps the country.